Okay, guys, I wanted to uh, welcome you to another episode, uh, No Adventures Today. I want to show you what I take on my adventures. Every time I'm on the sea and I'm doing all of the recording that I do uh, to put together a video, this are the two pieces that I bring with me. So I want to talk about Nanak. Uh, I've got two cases here from Nanak. I've got a 920 and a 915 case. So they offer 31 different sizes, I think. I, I went through the website before I started this video, but they offer 31 different sizes. They have up to 10 different colors. I'm a huge fan of the colors, actually, because a lot of other people, I can just say, grab the blue case or grab the red one. I do get a little help on my videos, so it helps them that I have them color-coded. These cases are uh, incredible. I'm gonna show you some footage here in a couple, uh, like a minute or so of, of what, I, what I've done with at least this case here. This case usually just travels in uh, the front of the sea or in the trunk. This one here, I will carry. I will climb up and rock and throw, throw down stuff. And, and it's been a fantastic case. Um, with the cases here, I'll just, I'll use this one here to show you a bit, but you've got uh, a really nice construction. You've got rounded corners, which is great. Uh, you'll notice that it stands. It stands on its own. Um, that is due to the way they built this in here. They thought about that, that they've added this extra section so it can stand on its side. Super, super awesome when you're trying to pack the car or even pack the sea dew that it's just always upright with the handle out. The handle does have a position where it will stay up like this as well, but it will click and stay down and then doesn't undo itself. So that's pretty cool. From that, you also have these like power claw latches. That's what they call them, power claw. So it's a nice latching system that when it's closed, it doesn't, doesn't come open, which is really awesome. So you just gotta squeeze this down, lift that up, and then it's good. And it can click back down like that. So it just stays open, it won't accidentally close there. When you do open the uh, cases, what's really cool about them is the lid. The lid actually will stay open. It doesn't have, uh, it, it doesn't take too much effort to close or open, but it will stay open for you and then and then go back down to be closed. So with the case, I really like how they've designed the lid. They've actually closed off the access to the side here so you don't have a seam that you can see. It's been wrapped around. And then you have basically stainless steel hardware. So it shouldn't have any rusting or corrosion effects. So from your hinge at the back here as well. The lid is not removable, so it's not something you pop off. Uh, yeah, it's not something that you pop off there. Uh, with the lid, you've got this uh, lip here that falls into this rubber gasket. This gives you your watertight, dust-proof seal. And on top of that, when it is sealed though, it does have this vent for atmospheric um, equalization, I guess. I don't really fly, but that's what that's for. So from there, you've got a nice construction. This case here is the, D is the Nanak 915 with the DJI Mavic Air 2 foam insert. They, they make that, which is great. So you've got this eggshell up. I actually use that behind the store, my operations manual, uh, which is nice. And then you're actually able to lift out the foam insert and I carry my licensing from the bottom. So that's spectacular. This foam insert is really well designed. I'm able to fit four, four batteries between the drone and the cases here. And it comes with the uh, spots for filters, remote controller, battery charging stuff, everything that came with the Fly More Combo. Um, so I do like that. They offer a slightly larger case for with the foam insert for the same drone that has some different cutout and you can put more stuff in. Um, definitely considering the upgrade now that I've been doing it for a little while. So yeah, but I love this guy. This case has been great. Uh, this is the case you'll see the footage with uh, in a moment. And uh, it's been through a lot. So a lot of people, you know, they, they don't like to scratch things up. I have no problems with scratching this up. Uh, depending on the sheen there, you might see I've got some scratches definitely all around the case. And uh, it's been tossed around a bit. So that's Nanak 915. So from here, I love this case. This case here is gonna be my Nanak 920. And uh, it's, it's heavy. This one holds my, it actually, believe it or not, holds my 16 inch MacBook Pro 2020 model. So it's fairly thin. Uh, but it does fit in the lid construction. So same design here you're gonna see with all the features I mentioned before, stainless steel hardware, and I forgot to mention on all their models, I believe, they even have this padlock area where you can actually get a padlock through both corners and you can lock this guy up. So they also sell lockable power claws. That's pretty cool. So you got like the TSA locks. I don't know what TSA stands for, traffic safety something. 
So for this guy here, uh, open that up. This one, I actually have no foam insert, but I have a lid insert. This is a cool second feature to buy. And the nut, this one just barely fits my lap, my MacBook Pro here. I was real nervous about buying it originally and getting the lid insert and, and it not fitting. It does fit, which is fantastic. Um, a little pop heavy though, if, uh, if I don't keep the bottom sore. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. That was my fault. So this guy here, I keep open because I just like to throw stuff in and out for the GoPro. And then I love the insert for holding the MacBook Pro. And again, this is nice and watertight. So I've had a lot of confidence. I have float tested these before. They do float, which is wicked. Um, and uh, and there I have had them underwater, so they are watertight, and you'll see the footage with that guy. And uh, that's fantastic. I like that because the only reason I bought the cases is because I do a lot of water experiences. So I don't want anything sinking. I don't want uh, anything getting damaged with water either, anything like that. So these have just been spectacular. The lid insert uh, is a self-install. They sell it as a separate piece. Uh, you might be able to order it with it in. I don't know. Uh, it was basically two screws, some sticky tape, I believe. Um, it is removable, um, but uh, that puts it on there. And it's been great. And it's been able to hold the weight of the MacBook Pro. It doesn't come unglued or unstuck or anything like that. Then he's got, this one's got a couple of pockets. These pockets are of a rubber plastic material. So I believe they have some water resistance capability. It wouldn't be submersible, but it'd be splash proof for sure. So I do like that. So I'm able to hold my GoPro batteries and different cords and connections for the laptop up here and all my GoPro accessories down on the bottom. So it's been pretty good. Um, I've got a couple notes here. Let me just take a look at what I've got. It's, they call it, I don't know anything about resins and plastic, but it's an NK7 resin. So they offered a lifetime warranty on the construction and the resin. They have impact resistance and such. Um, stackable, that is something that's kind of unique, I guess. Uh, if they're the same size, they're stackable. Different sizes, I mean, you can put them on, but they're gonna move around, they're gonna slide. But the same size is stackable with these features here. It will not move as easily, so. Mm, yeah, I actually think that covers everything, so. Thanks guys, if you have any questions, write them down in the comments, and uh, I hope you guys try it out. They're honestly amazing. So, served me well, and will continue. I'll definitely buy more. I even carry some firearms sometimes, and they offer some cases that will fit firearms, and honestly, they offer cases that fit a lot.